most complete concept on solving problems related to triangles. We will understand area, perimeter and also Pythagorean theorem with these examples, 10 in all. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We have 10 questions based on triangles. We will find their area, perimeter, use Pythagorean theorem. And these 10 questions will prepare you for tests like general education development, basic mathematics. Here is question 1 for you. BD is diagonal of the rectangle ABCD as shown here. Calculate area of the triangle ABD in square centimeters if the rectangle is 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters. Five choices are given to you. So now we need to find area of the triangle and that too triangle ABD, right? So basically this area is what we need to figure out. Is that clear to you? So as you can see, this area is half the area of the rectangle. So we can say that area of rectangle divided by 2, right? So this area of a triangle ABD can be written as equal to half. 8 times 6, right? And that gives you 4 times 6 as 24 and therefore option C is the right option. So what you learn here is that if a triangle is there within a rectangle then its area is half that of the rectangle, correct? Since the basic formula is what? So let's write down the formula for area of triangle which is half of base times height. So if you consider the rectangle, the base is one side, correct? And height is the other side of the rectangle. Also consider this, that I could have made any triangle, right? So even this triangle, which I am drawing now, let's call this a C dash, it has the same area as the area of the earlier triangle. You understand? So, if the point C is anywhere on the opposite side of the rectangle, then the area is going to be same. It's a very important conclusion. This will help you for a better understanding. Correct? Now, let's go to the next problem, which is based on Pythagorean theorem. The question is, BD is the diagonal of this rectangle find length of the diagonal AC. So, we have to find length of A to C. In centimeters, if the rectangle is 8 centimeter by 6 centimeter. So, we have taken the same rectangle as we took last time. There is a specific reason for this rectangle. So, you will soon see when you find the diagonal length, you will see this is a very good number to remember, right? So, we will use Pythagorean theorem, which you know is the diagonal length c square will be equal to a square plus b square, right? So, a c square is basically equal to the square of 8 plus 6 square, which is 64 plus 36 and which is equal to 100, right? Do you see that number? So, a c is basically square root of 100. Now, lengths are always positive and therefore, it will be 10 and option E is the right option. So, important thing to remember here is that, you know, this is a Pythagorean triple. So, the other triple basically is 3, 4, 5, right? So, 3, 4, 5 and it's multiple of 3, 4, 5 by a scale of 2. So, if you know these two sides, we know the third side is 10, right? Good to know and remember so that you can save time in multiple choice question. So, the whole idea is to develop this strategy. Now, the next question here is, we will try to connect the areas this time. The question is, the dimensions of a rectangle shown below are A and B, right? So, A and B are the dimensions of the rectangle. If vertices of the triangle ABC are as shown in this diagram below, 
find the expression for area of triangle ABC, right? We kind of had a hint in the very first question. Area will be base into height, right? Divided by 2. Now, you can see that this height is exactly same as one of the sides, correct? And the base is same as B, right? So, this is also same. So, therefore, the area is how much? So, area of the triangle basically is half the area of rectangle. Is that clear to you? So, half of base, right, which is B, right, times A, which is same as the height, correct? So, half of AB is the area of the triangle. So, half AB is option C, which is the right option. Perfect. Next question here is related to the perimeter of the triangle. The question is, find the perimeter of the given triangle. So, it's a right angle triangle given to us, right, in which one of the sides, it's a right angle triangle in which one of the sides is 5, the other one is 12. To find the perimeter, we have to add all the three sides, right? So, let's find what is hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse, as you know, will be equal to, let's say c square is equal to 12 square plus 5 square, which is 144 plus 25, which is 169, and c will be square root of 169, which is 13. So, this is also a Pythagorean triple, correct? And perimeter is definitely sum of these three sides. So, perimeter is 12 plus 13 plus 5. Perfect. So, that gives you how much? So, 12 plus 13 is 25 plus 5, 30. Option C is the right option. Is that clear to you? So, another triple you should remember, which is 5, 12 and 13, right? Let's move on. Take up the next question, which is leg of a right triangle is in the ratio of 1 to 2, right? So, the legs of the right triangle are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So, if x is one side, the other side is 2x. That is what it means when I say that the ratio of 1 is to 2, right? Now, if the area of the triangle is 36 meters square, find the sum of the lengths of the two legs, right? So, we need to find what is 2x plus x equals to. This is what 3x is, right? We have to figure out how much is this, right? And what are we given? We are given area 36. So, area is equals to half base into height, correct? So, in this case, area is 36, which is equals to half of base is 2x, right? And the height is x, correct? So, we can now cancel these twos, right? So, we get 36 is x square. Or we can say x is equal to 6. And since x is equal to 6, we really want to find the sum of the lengths of two legs, which is 3x, right? So, this is what we need to figure out. So, 3x will be equal to 3 times 6, which is 18. Makes sense, right? So, option C is the right option. So, read the questions properly. What are they asking for? And then write the answer. Here is the next question. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let's continue. A hiker walked 8 kilometers due east from the campsite and then walked 6 kilometers due south. How far did the hiker reach from the campsite? So, good idea is to kind of sketch the scenario. So, we are given that the hiker walked 8 kilometers due east. So, 8 kilometers east, right? So, this is the east direction, 8 kilometers. And then, 6 kilometers south. So, this is south, 6 kilometers, right? So, how far did he reach from the campsite? Clearly, this is your campsite and that's the diagonal, shortest distance, correct? And you know this much is how much. We took it earlier also. It is 10, correct? which you can find very easily as this distance is equal to square root of 8 square plus 6 square. Perfect. And now we know this number is how much? Right. So, it is 64 plus 36 which is 100 as we did earlier. 
and square root of 100 is 10. So the answer B is the right option. Do you see, once you practice, you can answer these questions in few seconds and that is the key. Perfect. Now we are getting into slightly difficult questions. Question 7. Equal sides of an isosceles triangle are 4 cm longer than the base. Right. So, let us try to sketch the scenario. If base is x, then these sides are x plus 4. Do you understand? These are equal sides. Okay. If the perimeter is 32, find the length of longest side of this triangle. Okay. So, perimeter is sum of three sides, x plus. So, we have x plus 4, right? One side and the other one is equal. So, again, add, add x plus 4, correct? And perimeter is given to us as 32. So, we can write 32 is equal to, there are three x's plus 8, right? So, we can solve for x here. 32 minus 8 is 3x. 24 equals to 3x, right? So, 24 by 3 is x which is equal to 8. What do we need to find? Find the length of longest side. Right. So, longest side will be 8 plus 4. Right. So, we have the longest side which is 8 plus 4. Which is 12. So, our answer will be 12. Correct. That is how we will find the solution. Question number 8. Find area of equilateral triangle with perimeter of 24 centimeters accurate to one decimal place, right? Accurate to one decimal place. So, we might need calculator in this particular case. We are given equilateral triangle, means all sides are equal, right? And here, we are given perimeter of 24. So, perimeter is 24. So, if I divide by 3, then we get each side, right? So, let's say S is the side. All sides are equal, right? So, that will be one third of this. So, that is 8. So, each side is 8 units. Now, we want to find the area of this particular triangle. To find the area, I have to find the length of this altitude. This will definitely go through the center, right? So, let me redraw it. It goes through the center, right? Now, how much is that? Well, if each side is 6, 8, right? So, this is 8. So, it divides. So, these are equal sides. So, each will be 4 each. You get the idea? So, you can find the altitude. So, let us label this. Let us say it is A, B, C and D, right? So, in that case, A, D, will be equal to, using Pythagorean theorem, 8 square minus 4 square square root, which is 64 minus 16 square root, right? So, that is what it is. So, if you take away, so you get AD as equal to, 14 take away 6 is 8, right? And then 5 take away, this is 4, 48. So, that is it. We will use calculator to find the answer. You can always simplify this. 16 times 3, you know. So, it is 16 square root 3. So, even otherwise, uh, you have an idea of, uh, uh, sorry, 4 square root 3. 16 times 3, which is 16 square root is 4. So, 4 square root 3. So, it is square root 3 times that length 4, right? So, the area is how much? Well, clearly, the area is equal to half base, base is 8, right, times 4 times square root 3, correct? That is what it is, which is equal to, when you multiply 8 divided by 2, 4, 4, 4, 16 square root 3 is the exact value. Since we need one decimal place, well, use the calculator, multiply the 16 with square root 3, right? and get the answer in decimals 27.7. So, that is option A is the right option. Is that clear to you? So, that is very interesting question. 
I hope that really helps. Now here is question number 9, which is a flagpole is 24 feet tall, right? Anil is standing at a distance of 10 feet from the flagpole. What is the distance from his foot to the top of the pole? It's a good idea to sketch the diagram, right? So let's say this is the flagpole and Anil is standing some distance away. Flagpole is 24 feet tall. So this is 24 feet, right? That is the flag, correct? Now, Anil is standing 10 feet from this. So this is 10 feet from here. We have to find this distance. Use Pythagorean theorem, correct? So distance is equal to square root of 10 square plus 24 square. Square root, correct? So that is what it is. You can use the calculator. You will get the exact value also. So we have 10 square, which is 100, plus 24 square, right? And once you add them, then you find the square root of your answer. And what you get is 26. So 26 is the right option, correct? We did similar example earlier with the side lengths of 5 and 12. Do you remember? 5, 12 and 13, right? This is exactly twice that number. This is also a Pythagorean triple. So if you remember this, it becomes much faster. Last question here is the thinking question. Find the length of the altitude CD. So this time we have to find this length in the given triangle. How will you do this? Think about it, right? I think the areas are related. So what is the area of triangle ABC? So let's calculate the area. Area is half base into height, 8 times 6, which we already calculated once, right? So 4 times 6 is 24. So area is 24. You could also say that area is AB times CD half, right? Now what is AB equals to? AB, as we know, is the hypotenuse, 8, 6, squares them and divide a square root. So you get 10. And area can also be written equals to half of AD, AB, times CD, right? And this we know is 24. And therefore, we can find what CD is because AB is 10, right? So we know that CD is equals to 24 times 2, right? D divided by AB, which is 10. So it is basically 48 over 10 or 4.8. You get the idea. So 4.8 is the last option and that is how we are going to do it. Is that clear to you? So in this case, what you need to do is find area in two different ways. And that really helps you to get this question. Perfect. So with this, we come to an end of this particular set of questions based on triangles, right? So I hope the whole concept is clear. Now we are going to take some challenge questions on these topics. Thanks for your time and all the best.